I don't know y'all. What's up y'all? Master Sir here. Last time is get a lot of reactions in the description below. Hit that up. I know it's too hot for me to be wearing this, but my hair is not as hell right now, so I put this hood on so I don't disturb the masses. Anyways, straight up. This episode was more so not necessarily a chill episode, but a calmer episode. Not a lot too much happened. Besides the date between tch, You gotta call it a date because basically she had the way she progressed on the shit. <laughs> but anyways, Mike say played third wheel the whole time. Or oh, Wing Man. However you wanna call it. Anyways, yo. The beginning day about that whole Sergeant Clean thing. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Daru over there just being Daru. Okabe liked to fuck my daughter. I had to get out of here. <laughs> I know why I came here, but that's not what happened. Is so I need to run like this. <laughs> Shit. How about going there and have to clean someone else's room? Or come Kajiko didn't even do nothing. <laughs> but anyways, man. Ferris came through. And we got that sleepover. So it's all good. And you know what I mean. However, I do not trust Moika. Just because you look damn good in red. That's all that's what I'm that's all I'm gonna say about it. Just because you look damn good in that red. Doesn't mean I trust you. You're just third biggest suspect. Well, kind of fourth biggest suspect. Since those the professors are running around. So you're just now on the top of the bullshit list. But you're all bullshit. Because Okabe had a... It's hard, you, you can tell it's still hard for me now to call Kiyoma, huh? But anyways, <laughs> he already talked to the big homie. The bald headed dude. Forgot his name. With the daughter of Sergeant Clean. Apparently, he's not, he know about that. But anyways. <laughs> but anyways. He already talked to him about that. But still, he has that straight up sit down talk with Moeka about what the hell she got going on. Like, just because we talked to your homie, your boss, doesn't mean you straight. You know what I'm saying? We ain't having straight in you out yet. So until we have that, she's still on the prime suspect list. Just because she ain't at the top of the list doesn't make it any better. So, you're, that red ain't going to, it doesn't change that. It got you top five on the suspect list. Just because you're top five on the best characters list right now doesn't mean you're top five on the suspect list. <laughs> but anyways, straight up, man. Big ass titties. Anyways, why wasn't my area at the damn sleepover? Why? Huh? By the way, how's it going? You with that panda costume you had on kind of It reminded me of Lane from Serial Experiments Lane, so Morgan may have that red, but you want the best outfit. But anyways, yo, about the actual, you know, between Hajiko and uh Okabe. I'm gonna call him all his nicknames before these damn reviews are over. <laughs> Basically they was going through that and they had to eventually had the inedible conversation. But she wanted to go to the place where Kirsty died. Okabe held out for a good moment. Good bits there. But the inevitable eventually happened. Boy had to leave. Almost threw up, goddamn. He doesn't he he doesn't want to straight up tell her about the time machines or that he's the one that stabbed him in this timeline, I guess. But here's the thing, right? She told him. She told him about the fact that she has Makase's legacy. Old notes, old computer, all that shit. The thing we almost got shot the fuck up for. <laughs> Okabe almost got shot two times for that shit. Technically three times. And you want to count to season one? Oh, not. But anyways, straight up, man. Because he he told her straight up about that. You ain't, ain't nobody going in that bitch. No, 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 no. You tell me where that ass so I can burn the motherfucker up. Like that shit up. Okay, we gotta make sure that shit never gets seen. Just motherfucking America, motherfucking Russia, motherfucking World War Three, bitch. Right. And she's just looking at him like, For some reason I believe you, which is more confusing than anything else. <laughs> cause now, now, cause if he gotta go in depth about that, now he gotta go about Daru's daughter from the future, about the girl that lost her memories and what was going on with all that, and that going eventually just lead to the whole thing with the time machine, which basically avoid the subject you've been trying to avoid this whole episode. But now that you gotta do all this, you gotta do that to lead into all that just to validate your damn self. And not even sure that's gonna work. But it brings back the whole Steins Gate feel we've been getting for the last two seasons, goddamn. You gotta do this just to make sure this happens, just to connect these dots for something you don't even know is gonna work. Steins Gate, goddammit. <laughs> but, anyways, man, I'm a dad's back, so we got a episode, the episode of Kirisu. Yeah, that's pretty good. He played her right straight up like it. Never gonna give you a fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know what the fuck's problem is. 
Fucking weave. Anyways. <laughs> what about Tuck? But yeah, man. Overall, I guess still episode of Steins Gate Zoo. We don't get a lot of fan service moments in Steins Gate, so. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it wasn't the best part of the episode, goddamn. Thank you, Ferris. Thank you, Ferris. You don't do much for me in the series, to be honest with you, but I have to thank you for this one. This ain't the best episode, but, you know, second best episode. Best episode is obviously the one with said. Anyways, man. <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep it going. And now. Because you, know, you, you know something else? How'd you go now? How'd you go? Am I saying her name right? How'd you go? How'd you go? I, I, I don't know. I'm not saying it wrong. But she hasn't really been that deep into the conflict. Like, she basically a lot of things surrounded by her and all the days, but she hasn't. She, there's always been that moment where she was able to put to the side to figure something else out. Put next to the whole Americas thing, or she had to deal with Armadeus more than the actual people surrounding what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Even when those guys rolling those in that place with guns, and it was after the girl from the future. Well, I didn't remember her name. She would still just be like, okay, we're going to handle this situation and try to figure out who this girl is and why those guys are rolling here while you over here doing this. Even then, that happened. So it's like, this is the moment where she is directly inserted into everything that happens all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. But that's what it feels like. Because she got, she got the notes everybody's after. Everybody's going to be after those notes. Which means everybody is after you, girl. You better stick with the home team. What are you playing? But anyways, man. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, like I said, my live reaction to this, to this episode is in the description below. If you watch this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out. Science Game Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. Good day.